Welcome in. You're listening to a daily editorial on the Coraline Economics Report, originating from the Silver Summit. Got my buddy Scott Drever with me right now. Scott is the president of uh, one of our sponsor companies and a company I'm happy to say that I invested in by buying stock out of the market. The company is called Silvercrest Mines. We're going to give you a brief overview of Silvercrest. We're going to talk about what the company has in terms of plans for the future, and we're going to talk about the $30 million that you guys just raised. Let's start with the overview. Thanks, Al. It's uh, very nice to be here once again. Uh, Silvercrest has been uh, progressing quite nicely over the last two years. Our Santa Elena mine, which is an uh, open pit heap leach, is uh, up and, and running very nicely on a steady state basis. We're, this year we'll produce about 35,000 ounces of gold and about uh, 400, well, we've upped our, our, our numbers, so it's probably closer to 550,000 ounces of silver this year. Uh, in the first half, we had revenues of 35 million. We had cash flow of 22 cents a share, and we had uh, earnings of 17 cents a share for the first half of this year. So the the operational part of it is going extremely well. Uh, our financial position is is great. We have 38 million dollars in the treasury, and as you said, we uh, we have just raised a 30 million bought deal that closes on Tuesday. So all in all, the financial and, and production areas are great. Um, we have a three-year uh, three-year plan, which we're in two years into to double the production at Santa Elena, uh, and we're putting in a conventional mill that will uh, should be operational in 2014. So that'll take our production up from just over two million ounces of silver equivalent to between four and five million ounces of silver equivalent, and. Uh, that will give us hopefully uh, the attendant uh, cash flow and earnings to go with it. You know, I have to tell you, Scott, anybody who, you know, is a regular listener listener to our program who just heard that, or for that matter, who heard the uh, the initial the initial uh, interview that we did with you probably four or five or six months ago, who who would ask me why did you buy the stock, Corlin? I'd have to say, I'm not even going to answer that, and you're basically totally in the wrong, in, you know, in the wrong. Uh, in the wrong investment sector, if, if you uh, if you have to ask that question at this point, I mean, you know, the thing that that popped out of, of my mind that I thought was really interesting, Scott, is you know, you look at your for the first six months, what your earnings were seventeen cents a share. That's correct. Okay, yes. well, you double that, you know, which is a bit of a forward-looking statement, but you double that, which I think is is in the cards. Not a, you know, it's, nothing is for sure in our business, but I think it is in the cards. So you all of a sudden you're looking at you're looking at revenue or, or you're looking at earnings of uh, thirty-four cents a share. Okay, uh, you know, you put a put a, a very moderate multiple on that of let's say ten times earnings, and and right there with a, absolutely nothing given for. Uh, potential future, whatever, you got a $3.50 stock. What's wrong with that? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think your your numbers are, uh, are fairly reasonable. What are you guys going to be doing, Scott, in uh, for, for, let's say, the rest? I mean, we're, we're almost at the end of 2012, but let's, let's go out from, let's say, the end of this year or the rest of this year through uh, 2013. What's on tap? We're doing a, a lot of exploration drilling, uh, both within the the mining area at Santa Elena and outside of that area. Uh, we have an underground development underway that will uh, add to the production that uh, will go through the mill. We start construction on that 3,000 ton of mill uh, probably next month. We'll be doing dirt work and concrete. And uh, as I said, we're shooting to have that up and running by uh, January of 2014. So uh, Santa Elena is going to be very, very busy. Over and above that, we have our new discovery at La Jolla in Durango State. Um, we put out a, a resource estimate earlier this year of 102 million ounces. We've drilled another 70 holes, which will be included in a, uh, a resource update probably before the end of the year. And uh, that'll, that'll lead us into a PEA in 2013, uh, which will define the parameters of that deposit uh, our target there with this extra drilling was to double that resource. So that, that one is shaping up to be uh, w to what could be a huge uh, development project as, as we go forward through 2013, 2014. You know, I got to tell you, Scott, one of, one of the more, more fortunate days uh, in, of, of what I've done throughout 2012 anyway was when 
uh, your IR person, Michael Raps, called me up. Michael used to work for uh, Gary Freeman, uh, who our daughter Stephanie has been with for quite some time now. And Michael said, you know, I want to buy you breakfast. I want to tell you about uh, Silver Crest. And I said, sure, love to hear about it. I've heard about the company. I don't know a lot about it. I owe him a big thank you. I owe him a dinner, to say the least. Okay, interest of full disclosure, ladies and gentlemen. This is not this is not investment advice. Big Al is not a registered investment advisor. And also remember that uh, I am a shareholder in this company, so you can't consider anything that I say to be arm's length because it's not. I'm quite involved with this company, and I'm happy to say that I am. If you want more information, click on their banner on the website. Get all the information you want. Big Al thinks this is a good one.